you, you, <laughs> you, 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 you too. What's going on, guys? It's your boy back again with another video, and today we have another unboxing video for you guys. But it's not just any unboxing video. When I was at Universal Studios, uh, I met a guy. His name was Paul, and he he has a company called Airbrush Studios, and he did a custom shoe for me and he does hats shirts and like other things so make sure you guys go check them out but he did a pair of custom shoes for me and these shoes are very special to me because they're actually my favorite movie of all time one of my favorite movies and the movie is creep show so if you guys don't know creep show is basically a george romero film that they made and originally it was actually a book that was written by stephen king and Stephen King made all the stories. Stephen King is like my idol. I want to be him when I grow up. That's why I'm making stories. But yeah, so this is what it's based on. This is the actual comic that tells you all the stories. So make sure you go check out the movie and also read the book because it's actually really cool. But we're just going to check out these shoes. So it comes in a normal Vans box off the wall. You already know because I, I like Vans. So we're just going to check them out right now. So let's see the reveal pretty easy. There we go, guys. Look at the shoes. So the shoes are actually really like, kind of like simple. It's not like, oh shoot, like all colorful. It's like a very simple shoe. So we're just gonna take this one out. But yeah, guys, check that out. So that's the hand and there's the creeper. So that, that this is how the shoe is. So it's actually two shoes. Hold on, let me give it a, oh, there it goes. It looks really cool. There's the creeper right there with his hand. And if you guys don't know, creeper is kind of like, like the mascot in creep show because he's like the guy who like basically like narrates like the film and also the like the book so he's like really iconic so that's why i got it there and also in the back it does say creep show in the like type of like green lettering and also has like this rainbow design on all of it but I i'm going to explain more about the movie because it is one of my favorite movies so basically creep show is this storytelling type of movie where basically it tells you five stories about different type of uh comic book stories basically so and all of them are horror there's no like you know funny comedy no it's all horror so the first one is called father's day and father's day and just say guys if you guys don't want spoilers and you just want to see the movie so you just skip uh we're gonna put a timer uh to skip it so like you know you guys don't want it but basically uh uh, the, the first story is called Father's Day and Father's Day is about uh, this uh, woman who is returning from her like big break because her father just died and her father was like a crazy man who was just like you know like abusive to her called her like a and like all that and uh, basically the story goes that she actually killed her father and this is like her the, like the anniversary of it and then for that day, her father comes back to life as a zombie, and he he and he's saying, "Where's my cake?" Cause like you know it's Father's Day, so you know you have to have a cake for your father. And then he just kills everyone left and right, like you know her her granddaughter and like everyone until he finds her granddaughter, like you know, and then he cuts off her grand um uh her granddaughter's head, and then he makes it into a cake, and then that's how the story ends. So that's the first story. The second story is actually my favorite story because that's my boy Stephen King. And Stephen King is, you know, awesome. And this is probably, I think, his first ever acting role. And basically, it's about, it's called The Lonesome Death of Jordy Vero. And Jordy Vero is a farmer who lives in the middle of nowhere in, like, a farmland. And he's all by himself, so he's alone. And this meteorite just comes out of nowhere and crashes down. And it's just, uh, he's just excited because, like, you know, a meteor, you know, it, it's lots of money. But then... The, like the meteor cracks and it releases this juice that's like blue and stuff and he's like oh man like you know because like you know he wanted money but he can't have it so then when he goes to his house again that blue liquid starts growing like plants and weeds and like all this so it's like alien uh, aliens you know are like plants and stuff and then like, when he looks at his fingers he has blisters and he's actually turning into the plant so it's like you know he's turning into like you know a, it's like a slow death so it's actually like kind of scary but also it's kind of comedic too because stephen king you know and you know it's really cool but then I, at the end unfortunately you know off his farmland himself has turned into weeds and plants so he has to kill himself so and then uh the water 
uh, basically the way how these things grow or the plants grow like much larger is with water with Jordi Barrow uh, the plant was only getting on his arms and his like face but nowhere else but when he got into water they it grew more into his body so his whole body was covered in it so when he killed himself like like on the TV that there was like a news broadcasting and the news said that there was going to be a lot of rain going to where his area is so it's like the weeds and plants are going to take over the world and stuff so it's kind of like a weird conspiracy thing on like yo plants are actually like real and they're aliens and stuff and the, the third story is i uh something to tie you over with and that story is basically about uh this evil guy who basically kills people and the way how he kills people is that he buries them alive in sand and he makes and he makes them drown and the way and this guy that he he buries is trying to find like his wife and his and he did the same thing with his wife too where she buried her and she's like stuck and he's watching her die through a TV that's recording her and she's watching a TV that's recording him so it's like they're drowning to death but that guy who's buried actually becomes like a water zombie or something and then and then his wife and him like be, come back alive and they just they want to do the same thing to the guy who buried them and then then the guy who the, the guy who buried them basically gets buried and then he's like saying like i'll hold my breath for a long time but then like it just cuts like the whole thing and then it's him going like the wave going over him and that's the end of that one then the next one is called the crate which is probably like like the my, my second favorite but basically it's about uh this janitor who finds a crate underneath a pair of stairs and when he reads it he sees that the thing or like the like the description of it is like it says like from Antarctica and it's like this creature has been like in ice and stuff and it's like a undiscovered species and then he brings like a scientist over as usual and then when they find out what it is it's like a a weird monkey hybrid like wolf and stuff and the person who actually made that was actually Tom Savini so shout out to him because you know that was like you know one of his like like best works and yeah so uh basically eventually you know uh, that they get rid of it and you know uh, uh, that they basically chain it up again that they put it inside the lake and he just breaks out and then like he's out loose and then the last story is called that they're creeping up on you and basically uh, this doctor who's like a jerk like kind of like a he hates bugs and there's cockroaches all over his like you know lab and then he just hates them but then they just keep coming and coming and coming and he can't even kill them so there's cockroaches everywhere and then eventually the cockroaches go inside of him and they nest and then they burst out of his stomach and mouth and it's just like all disgusting and stuff and it's like weird all right so that's all the five stars i told you guys make sure you guys go check out the movie but i'm going to tell you more about these shoes i like how he actually like painted the creeper and also the hand that they were going to be like more of like you know something different but there he did a really good job and i didn't expect him writing or basically drawing on creep show on the back because you know like i thought it was going to be more on the side but it's still cool because like you know like when you're walking and then people look back at your shoe they just see creep show and then on like the tongues they're like uh like a green yellow red orange pattern if you guys can see through the laces it's like the same thing on the back here but yeah like i said it's just a very simple shoe that's just like really cool but yeah all right guys so one more thing i like to say is that shout out to paul from airbrush studios who actually made the shoe because you know you know this was his one of his first ever shoes that he's done so it looked really good and just a little bit more background about the shoe it is a vans uh, off white shoe uh, off the wash shoe and you know it's used for skating and all that but you guys if you guys want you know a custom pair you can get like other ones like air like air forces and all that but i just got vans because you know i like wearing vans a lot but yeah so like the laces are normal laces you know everything like it has like the normal stripe has some white uh bottoms you know it's just really it's like like i said it's a very simple shoe but it's really like you know iconic and this is one of a kind uh no one else has this and you know, if you guys want a pair, you know, you can go to Airbrush Studios and just pick them up. But uh, you can just ask for it. All right. Uh, so, guys, the way how, like, I got these shoes is that I actually went to Universal and I picked up white Vans. And then my dad told me that I can get them customized by the Airbrush uh, at Universal, like, studios. So, 
I went to there and I asked for a creep show design and then he said, yo, I'll do it. You know, I just like, it might take some time. So I was like, yeah. And then I got it shipped here and that's the way it came. So, and just say guys, this is not a sponsor to Airbrush Studios. They're a really like cool company, but if you guys want to sponsor us, you can, but for right now, they're actually not. But yeah, so these shoes are still cool though, and I really like love them. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed me reviewing the Creep Show shoes. Hope you guys learned something about the shoes and also the movie. Make sure you guys go check out that. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and also click that little bell to get notified on every video that we do. We're integrated, and we're out. Peace.